Hi everyone! We are going to learn how to write a haiku today. And uh, this is a form of poetry that originated in Japan and was originally they were written about nature, so any topic to do with nature. But we are going to expand that and you're going to be writing haiku using the characters from Hana's suitcase. So the basic idea behind writing a haiku is to follow the pattern of 575, five, which means it's a three-line poem, and the first line has five syllables, the second line has seven syllables, and the third line has five syllables. So it's a three-line poem. And I gave you the option of writing two or three haiku on the attached doc with the assignment. So the way you figure out if you have the right number of syllables is you can clap your syllables, just like when you learned how to tell your syllables when you were younger. So the first example I'm going to share with you is about Famico, and it's called Head and Heart. And it goes like this. A closed museum my tears fall like summer rain. Ludmilla brings hope. So if you clap those syllables, A closed museum. That's five syllables. My tears fall like summer rain. That's seven syllables. Ludmilla brings hope. And that's five syllables. Every word has a different number of syllables in our language. Some words are one syllable, some words are two syllable. There are even three, four, or five syllable words. So that's why it's helpful to clap the syllables. My last name has two syllables. Mine Zen. Clap your last name to try to see how many syllables your last name has. Okay, I'm going to give you one more example that hopefully will help you, and then you are going to go to it. My haiku is about George. George is a brother. He is brave, strong, and caring. George is a hero. George is a brother. He is brave, strong, and loving. George is a hero. If you clap out those syllables, you can hear the 575 pattern. Five syllables in the first line, seven syllables in the second line, and five syllables in the third line. Okay, have fun and be creative. I can't wait to read your haiku. Bye.